Hello again everyone, how are you all doing these days? Hope you're all keeping well, de-stressed, blessed, a little bit pumpkin obsessed in this wonderful cozy season. Now on to today's clip, it's the last installment of my Philippine trip series. Kinda makes me sad and nostalgic. On our last days in El Nido, we decided to explore Nagpine Beach. From El Nido, it takes about 45 minutes heading north. Coming here was quite an adventure as a portion of the road were still unpaved and gets really muddy when it rains. So it's best to arrange a pickup with your hotel. Nagpan Beach is a pristine 4-kilometer-long ivory-colored beach. It's perfect for strolling or renting an ADV. Most people come to this place just to unwind, relax, and simply enjoy doing absolutely nothing. And what's great about this beach is that it's almost secluded so it doesn't get crowded at all. It feels like having the entire beach all to yourself. Nagpan Glamping is without a doubt a picture-perfect and Instagrammable place, but it's kind of the very definition of expectation versus reality. The hard truth is, it wasn't the most pleasant experience for us, accommodation-wise. For the price of $160 a night, it's a big letdown. Each tent does have its own cooler and fan as it can get really toasty when the sun is out. Sadly, ours was broken and everything inside the tent was damp and moist. Bed, linen, pillow, it felt uncomfortable and a bit disgusting. But the major letdown for me was the bathroom. It's communal and when it rains, it's kind of a pain to walk outside just to do your business. And when someone leaves a bit of a mess, it's just awful. I know, I know, it's glamping. What did I expect? Well, we did stay in a better glamping accommodation before coming to Nakpan. And nearly the same price range. So the standard is a little bit high. Had the rate been a little lower, then probably it's more acceptable. Or not. Besides, you aren't allowed to eat or bring snacks inside a tent. Plus, there's just a lot of mold. And sometimes bugs, even frogs somehow found their way in. In short, if you don't mind the mugginess, bathroom situation or mold, then give it a try. For us, it's definitely a hard no. Glad we were only there for two nights. On a positive note, it's very safe and the staff are very friendly and polite.
So if you get hungry, you have to walk to the restaurant next door, the cinnamon. The food were all excellent. And if you're a vegetarian or vegan, they offer lots of options. Now let's talk about the weather. So if you're planning to travel to El Nido, you might want to avoid the typhoon or rainy months. We were there in September, the chances of having a good or bad weather is 50-50. There is also a risk of getting stranded due to a typhoon. Well, there you have it, Nakpon Beach and Beach Clamping in El Nido. Hope you all enjoyed it. Do come and check it out when you can. It's absolutely worth it, despite our minor hiccup. And don't forget to check the weather before you go. Ciao, Until next time.